Franklin's Trading Cards. Please reach down, click like, and subscribe to our channel. Franklin can tie his shoes. Franklin can count by twos. And Franklin can eat lots and lots of cereal. That's how he got all of the superhero trading cards. Franklin ate breakfast every day. Some days he ate toast. Some days he ate pancakes. But most days he ate Fly Crispy cereal. Mmm, yum, yum, Fly Krispies. One day, Franklin found two superhero trading cards in his cereal. Wow, said Franklin. I will eat Fly Crispy every day. Franklin told all his friends about superhero trading cards. Everyone began eating Fly Crispy cereal. I don't even like Fly Crispy said Beaver. Me either, said Fox. But I want all the superhero trading cards, said Beaver. Me too, said Fox. Soon, Franklin had lots of superhero trading cards. I have Super Dog and Super Cow, said Franklin. Me too, said Beaver. I have Super Pig and super chicken, said Franklin. Me too, said Fox. <laughs> oh, I remember there was a cartoon show called Super Chicken years ago. <laughs> but I do not have super cat, said Franklin. Neither did Beaver or Fox. One morning, Franklin had a good idea. I found the trading cards in this box of cereal, he told his mother. Please buy another box. Finish this box first, said his mother. Then I'll buy more. Hmm, said Franklin. Then I will have to eat two bowls of cereal for breakfast. At lunchtime, Franklin had a better idea. I will eat Fly Crispy cereal for lunch and supper, he said. Then Franklin had his best idea yet. I will make Fly Crispy squares for dessert, he said. You will get tired of Fly Crispy cereal, said his mother. Never, said Franklin. I love Fly Crispy. After supper, Franklin went to see his friends. I have eaten five boxes of Fly Crispy cereal in one week, he told them, and I still don't have Super Cat. Neither do I, said Beaver. But I have three Super Dogs. I have two Super Chickens, said Fox, but I don't have one Super Cat. Super Cat is hard to get, said Franklin. The next day, Franklin opened a new box of Fly Crispy. He dug into the box. Hooray, said Franklin. I got Super Cat. He dug in again. Wow, said Franklin. Another Super Cat. Franklin ran to tell his friends. Can I have your other Super Cat? Asked Beaver and Fox together. I asked first, said Beaver. No, I asked first, said Fox. Franklin didn't know what to do. The next day at school, Fox had an idea. I will trade my candy bar for your super cat, he told Franklin. Beaver had a better idea. I will trade two candy bars for your super cat, she told Franklin. Franklin still didn't know what to do. After school, Franklin went to the ice cream shop. Fox and Beaver followed him. 
I will trade you an ice cream cone for Super Cat, said Fox. I will trade you an ice cream cone with two scoops for Super Cat, said Beaver. Three scoops, said Fox. Four, said Beaver. I don't want that much ice cream, said Franklin. Fox and Beaver did not listen. Oh, look, Franklin's ice cream has fly sprinkles. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> Franklin went home to think. I don't know what to do, he told his mother. Beaver and Fox are both my friends. Why don't you flip a coin, she said. Good idea, said Franklin. That's what I'll do. And I will stop buying Fly Crispy cereal, said his mother. You have a full set of superhero trading cards. That is not a good idea, said Franklin. The next day, Franklin went to find Beaver. He gave her one super cat trading card. Beaver jumped up and down. Yippee, she said. Now I don't have to eat Fly Crispy cereal ever again. Franklin went to find Fox. He gave him the other Super Cat trading card. Fox jumped up and down. Yippee, he said. Now I don't have to eat Fly Crispy cereal ever again. Franklin went home. He opened a new box of Fly Crispy cereal. He dug into the box and found his two trading cards. Neither one was Super Cat. Yippee, said Franklin. Maybe I will have to eat Fly Crispy cereal forever. <laughs> I guess he really likes that Fly Crispy cereal, huh? <laughs> well, I hope you like Franklin, and I hope you like this story. As our friend Tigger says, ta-ta for now. I love you guys. Bye-bye.